Previously on the GM Golf Sunday matches, I saw a comment on match number 17 that said Micah and I should go play Sycamore Ridge. So that's exactly what we ended up doing. It was a very intense match and it came down to the last three holes, but at the end of the day, I ended up birdieing the last two holes to take a one-up lead and beat Micah in match number 18. That puts the point system at six matches to 12 matches leading into match number 19, which will be played down here at Briggs Ranch in San Antonio, Texas. Anyway, let's get right into match number 19. Welcome back to another GM Golf video. We are, what are you, are you mad? Because we look good. Look at Steve. Matt, intro. <laughs> All right, here's the intro. Essentially, we're going to start this video off. You guys know exactly what's going on. They're going to be doing another Sunday match out here at Briggs Country yeah, Club. They're going to play Briggs a little Ranch, match. Yeah. I am hoping I, Tate gets slapped. In the comments down below. Should I not let Micah use my two iron? Ooh. Because technically that's illegal. Yeah, because you can't like swap clubs. It's like You're going to do that after we've played 18 matches of me using it? In the comments down below for the next match. Anyway, Let us anyway. Know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm I'm on Garrett's side today. Yeah, what about you, Matt? I'm on Garrett. It's six to twelve, and I feel like Garrett. I'm feeling pretty good about his game right now. He's hitting some good shots yesterday, and I think Tig's gonna get slapped. Honestly, around. It, I've been watching videos. It gets kind of annoying. I like when he comes home and he's really angry. Probably my favorite thing to see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you're old, hit the subscribe button and like the video. Let's get this video to four thousand likes. I said it, so now it has to happen. You guys, we're gonna get involved. There's gonna be a lot of hot acidic action that's gonna be played here. They've both played the front nine now kind of it's gonna be fun matt and steven are not gonna be in this video no, no we are. we're just we're starting it <laughs> you guys are. we're literally starting the video, in the video micah anyways welcome back to another sunday match obviously they just did the intro but we're out here at briggs ranch i don't know if they already explained that wasn't really listening front nine dog leg left par four this course is extremely hard I have honors, I believe, because I won the last match. He does indeed. Guys, we're at Briggs Ranch, as it's been said. This place is phenomenal. And look at this. We're literally staying right here. And this will be the first video that we see this course, right? Yeah. I'm great. excited. This week is going to be great. It's going to be some awesome content. Garrett's getting started, started with a two iron here. Hopefully I can hit this club good today, guys. I really need to. But... A little bit out to the right. It is safe. It's going to be a long <laughs> ways to the hole. I don't know what it is that two iron feels. And yet you're complaining about me hitting it. it. It feels weird in my hands every time I get up on the first tee. It's just, it was a shaky swing. This is probably one of the tightest courses you'll see us play. At least one of the hardest courses. I don't know about tightest, but it is a tough course. I lost my three. So I don't have that no, today. Matt left it at your house. Yeah, Matt left it at my house when he was supposed to bring it. But that's okay. That's hit so hard, guys. Yep. Advantage Micah on the first hole. Also, if the audio cuts in and out in today's video, I really apologize. There's something weird going on with our mic right now, but I hope we have it fixed. Yeah, this is a tough start for me, to say the least. I have 210 yards, eight feet right of the fairway, and the rough is not very thick out here, which is good, but this is kind of what I'm looking at. I have to hit a stinger under this tree with the... I might hook a six because it's downwind. If you deal off the club, I can like start it out right, and that's kind of. I think hooking a six iron, landing it short, and roll it up is probably your best bet. This is a tough shot. I mean, I hit it too low. Stay in the fairway. I'm actually happy. You actually might be better off in the rough there because you can actually get so, a little more loft. That's just a tough shot because it's like you have to hit it so hard but so low. It's way better to be short where I'm at than it is to be long. That's why I'm honestly very happy with that miss. Now we've walked up on Micah's ball, which is in the middle of the fairway, 130 yards out. Could not have placed it better off the tee. Oh, shit. <laughs> That is long in the tall grass? It just flew on him, guys. Wow. I don't know. I think we'll probably be able to find that ball, though. So he should be fine. It's just, if it lands on that backside, it just kicks forward. I think the ball flies a little farther here, too. Not I agree. Not 100% sure of that, but, like, I hit an easy pitching wedge, and it was 145 to the center, and it flew the green. So it was not even close. A little bit frustrating there. Also, Garrett, if you have not seen him, he's using this bloodline putter. He'll probably talk about that in a little bit. It's pretty cool, though. Garrett to get up and down for par. Oh, <laughs> why'd you say, oh, that's so good. Dude, that carries two more feet though and lands on the green, it's good. A lot of ifs, a lot of ifs go through my mind as you guys already know, that's kind of my uh, thing. A solid 10 feet, four par. Here's Micah's ball, guys. We did find it, honestly, a pretty decent lie back here. However, he's got this. 
So this is a tough shot to get up and down for par. Not, not the start we both wanted, that's for sure. Oh my. Wow. That was so good. That was one of the best recovery shots I've seen him hit. I don't even know if you guys can tell how hard that shot actually was. Dang, now I gotta make a freaking 10 footer. Freaking pulled it. That was my first putt of the day. And boy, I tell you, that was, I'm not in for bogey, that's for sure. Well, I'm not in, but I have a chance to tie the hole. These greens are so pure out here. Like they roll so good and they hold their line. And Garrett, for bogey and to tie the hole. Yep, good putt. That's a shaky start to say the least, guys. Couple bogeys on the first. We're all square. On to hole number two, which is another par four. See if we can get it dialed in. Do something better than that. Second hole out here at Brig Ranch. It's actually still a pretty long par four. It's probably like 400, just over 400 yards from the tip or from the black tees. We got bunkers left, bunkers right. Landing zone is pretty much in between those bunkers. Garrett is hitting driver and I'm hitting two iron. I just went straight. Okay, that went down the left side. There is an opening over there, but it's kind of some tall grass, but it's pretty thin, so I'm not sure what that's gonna be like. It was in between two iron or driver for me. I might have should have hit two iron. We're all right over there on the left side. Not ideal. Take with two iron here, folks. That's, that's wow, we suck. That same line. We're gonna both have to hit provisionals here. I'm just gonna use the excuse that we're we're getting used to this course. That's that's what I'm gonna say. That one's perfect. Would have been nice to do that the first time. Guys, I actually found my ball. I think I can get it out to the fairway, so I got pitching wedge and seven iron in my hand. Garrett's hitting his second shot from right here. Try to get back in play, pretty much. Sit. Oh my, that came out way hotter than I thought it was going to. One of my first golf tournaments, I was playing at Prairie Highland. I don't know if I have any local Kansas City natives watching this video, but if you are, you probably know which course I'm talking about right now. Nine told Prairie Highlands, hook it into the tall grass. Five shots later, I finally got out of the tall grass, made an 11. So anyways, over that ball, I was having flashbacks. I was thinking maybe I should just take an unplayable. Decided not to, and I'm glad I didn't. But here we go, Micah with a wedge, just trying to knock one into the fairway. Be in the fairway. We're both in decent locations. We got our third shot into the green. Hopefully I can get up down four par. Michael located here in the fairway. Perfect position. Third shot. Thankfully he found his ball. He's got probably, I would say 90 yards, 95 yards. This pin's in a really tough location, just up on that ridge. Mikey's got 60 degree here. Really good shot. Six feet is what it looks like. All right, this is what Garrett's looking at. He probably has about 65 or 70 yards for his third shot. And as you can see, I'm up in there, probably six or eight feet. I don't know if he'll be able to spin this ball quite as much as I did, but he's got some, he's got lots of green to work with. Got 52. Still had a little bit of spin on it, but he kind of got to that pretty steep ridge right before that and he kind of got above it. So not a bad place to be putting from. All right, so after we've been all over the map chasing our balls, we, this is where we've come. I got about five feet still left for par and Garrett has about probably 15 for par. Just first impression, this is probably one of the hardest courses I've ever played. I think the biggest thing is strategy like off the tee. Like you have to be so, so accurate. Into the greens is fine and putting is great, but off the tee, whew, that's tough. Just slides by on the left. That was such a good putt. Really good roll. Just didn't fall. So he's gonna tap that in for his bogey. Ooh. And dang guys. See if I can make a par. Alright, here we go. We got take four par. And this is for him to go one up in the match. He did it. Good putt there for Micah. Good par. On to hole three, which is a par three. He's now one up. Gotta come back, folks. Gotta come back. Hole number three. Par three. You guys definitely couldn't see that, but it's 180 yards to the back pin. It's probably playing a little further. It's a little into the breeze, too. I got seven and six iron. It's kind of what we're looking at, folks. This is, this is not an easy hole. Once again, tough pin location. Tough, tough. Micah with seven iron. 
a good ball. Everything seems like it'll kick. Yep, just right of the green. All right, Garrett going with seven iron as well. We both hitting seven irons here. That just got away from me. That was a terrible swing, guys. It's kind of up there. It, it was hit not it was not hit very good, but I think he's still in play, right? No, I'm fine. I just got a chip. Walking over the green. I'm just taking 60 degree and putter. I don't know. Mike is in a really good spot to uh, put a lot of pressure on me here. So hopefully, hopefully I can do something crazy like a chip in or something. I don't know. I need something crazy. 15 more feet to the left. Everything slopes to the green. That's kind of what I was saying on the tee box. I just hit it too far right. Pretty straightforward chip here. See if you can get this one close. And I hit it way too freaking hard. He tried to spin, so he probably has about 15 feet left. Not a good yeah. shot, not a good shot. Anyway, hopefully I can make that four par. Mikey down the hill, really taking his time to give this one a good read. But this is going to be an extremely fast putt once he gets this over the fringe. Anything can happen here. That's pretty good there, good speed. That is a par there for Micah. Garrett for par. Oh, wow. I can't say much, I cannot say much, because I hit a really good putt. I just misread it a little bit. Anyway, I'm two down through three holes on a hole four, which is a drivable par four. You know we don't lay up, so hopefully I can knock one on the green and make birdie. Here's what I'm gonna say, especially out here. Like, the ball rolls so pure. The roll is unbelievable. It's like, it's better than any course that I've played in a long time. That is a three bogey start for Garrett. I need to get it together. I'm playing like trash. Guys, you know we don't lay up. I mean, I don't lay up. We got Micah here with four iron, and we are on hole four. It's pretty dry. I mean, it's like 320, but it's one of those shots. If you get it past those trees, it'll roll up on the green. So I got driver in hand because why not, right? He, he could change my mind depending on how he hits this shot. And that's going to be in the bunker unless it goes. That so, is such a heart like. Okay, so he's in the bunker, which means I'm changing my strategy and going four iron. And that's also like a 60 yard bunker shot or 70 yards. See if I can dial one in out of that bunker. Garrett going with four iron. Sit. Sit. No, I did not. <laughs> I love this game. It's so fun. I love golf. Golf is so mental, it's unreal. Like, he wasn't trying to hitting it. He wasn't trying to hit it there. And. You weren't even trying to avoid that, were you? It just faded three yards too much. Oh! I don't, I don't even know what to say about it. But anyway, this is what this is Garrett's ball, and then my ball is right there. We both probably have somewhere between have 80 and 90 yards, and we got the pin way up front. So this is like tricky, tricky shot. This is one of the hardest shots you'll hit in golf, folks. Yeah, the wind, and the wind is straight left to right as well, so that makes it a little harder. That's why. That's we why we hit both barely. hit. Yeah. Because we couldn't feel it because we were kind of in that little pocket and the wind, the trees were, and there's, you also can't feel it because it's really high over there, but. Finger over the green, baby. Mike has a huge opportunity to go three up through four in this match, folks. You know, I'm not out of it. I just caught that one way too freaking clean and I'm over the green in the trees. I'm with my family. And. It's gonna be fine, actually. That's even, that's even a harder shot. Like, I, dude, I'm in the trees. There's not. That's not a harder like shot. Me. This is tough. This is tough. I'm not gonna deny it. This is tough. Anything can happen, folks. I'm long. I may have gotten lucky. We're still trying to figure this out exactly. The rules of golf are kind of helping me here because the nearest point is where I actually have a swing. Just that's just very lucky. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck in golf to uh, succeed. This pin location is in a tough spot. I'm gonna have to hit a flop over these trees and uh. Hopefully get this one up and down. Four paw. Oh my gosh, Mike me up. Uh guys, Mike is stepping some ants. Hi, I'm getting bit too. Bro, we stepped in some ants. Oh my, I'm getting bit too, guys. Oh the no wonder, right where I'm about to hit my shot. That's it. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Mine are good. Alright, so Garrett has about 30 yards here and he's got 60 degree. Oh no. I thought that for sure that that had spin on it. I hit a perfect shot. Guys, I can't. 
sometimes this game just it's tough it truly is it's a grind cannot ask for a better shot anyway mike has got to get up and down for his par here this is that's fine that's a pretty good shot actually he's got that for par garrett now has 60 degree from down there this is an even harder shot than he just played oh my gosh <laughs> it's two feet top 10 shots you've yeah ever that, i could not have hit a better shot guys i'm very happy with that hopefully you guys are enjoying this i know we're all like we're both playing like trash but it's fun to grind these matches out sometimes when you when you're just not playing well Whew, give me a chance love it all right guys this is for garrett to tie the hole with a pair of bogeys once again that is just insane. But that's what happens when you put yourself in trouble off tee. Played this front nine twice now. It's kind of the way that I've drawn it up. Four bogeys to start the round. That's tough. That's just that's just a tough start. But we are on to hole number five. Little intermission here after hole four. Guys, we just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. I still can't believe it. This channel has come such a long way since it started. A year and three quarters ago? A year and a half ago? I'm not really sure, but so many people have been supporting this channel, and I really do appreciate you guys. Honestly, me and the world and i don't get to say it enough all the comments all the likes all the support any shares just the encouragement the hate all of it is very much appreciated i read a lot of the comments sometimes i get to read all the comments depending on how busy i am but guys it, just, it honestly just means the world i don't get to say it enough if you guys are new here you guys are welcome to hit the subscribe button and it would be very much appreciated i upload three times a week golf content sometimes four times a week so if you guys are golfers and you just enjoy watching people play golf then this channel is probably for you anyway let's get back to the video once again thank you guys guys for all the support guys another little intermission right after sorry i said we were going right back to the video but just a really quick intermission these roback polos the hats all the roback that we wear in our videos that is the golf company we rep so if you guys want to get any roback gear and go to their website it'll be linked in the description down below if you use the code gm15 you get 15 percent off your first purchase so if you guys are interested in what golf clothes we wear that's what we wear let's get back to the video like that absolutely perfect guys on to hole number five here par five pretty tight hole guys every one of these holes are so freaking tight i don't understand it this course is so hard i love it i'm four over through four i'm having the best day of my life out here playing like an absolute beast and this is what we're looking at par five dog leg right i got driver mike has got the two iron in case i also want to hit that my god but just look you don't have anything to look at micah is gonna dial up this two iron try and saute one in there no better feeling than working super hard all day going home and just taking a shower oh my gosh if that carried the bunker it's gonna be okay it did carry the bunker i can't see i tell you garrett going with driver pretty good play playing his fade he needs to play it off of that far right left side bunker what did you just say <laughs> hit it dead straight he hit it dead straight guys hmm. all right guys so this is where my ball ended up i was right about it being close to the tall grass and garrett found his ball right there it's actually not he doesn't have a bad lie. I don't know if he'll try to get this back in play or if he will try to go for it. He has inside of 200. I'm gonna like semi go for it. I'm gonna hit six iron. Kinda go for it, kinda not. All right, folks, he's got the seven iron. Right at it. Is it on? I have no idea, but dang. That was it, good. I hit it really, really good. Dang, I'm so glad I switched clubs. Garrett now with six iron. Just kind of chipped it and something on the way out. A little bit. I think it's short of that bunker. On my way through, the grass caught the club. Something that happens very commonly in the tall grass is when you come through the ball, the grass grabs the heel of the club and turns it over and pushes it left. Listen to this guys. If I get this up and down, even make par, that's gonna be my first even par or better hole of the day. Playing kind of well. I'm kind of dialed in right now. I gotta hit a huge flop over this bunker. As you can tell, Micah with six feet for eagle and it even it didn't roll up to it carried to right there he's taking it upstairs oh my touch <laughs> hat guys you could not have landed it in a better place i had to go for it <laughs> that was a great shot i don't know 
This has been a fun match nonetheless. If he makes that, I go three down through five. Big putt for Garrett. I've been... Mm, just slid by. I've been over reading everything today and thought I was going to do the same thing there, so I didn't trust my line. I already conceded the hole, but let's see if he can make this for his eagle. Gosh, if only I would have made that. After hole five, he's three up. It has been a tough match so far, but I'm not out of it. We have four holes left. I can win the last four, in theory. Crazier things have happened on this planet, so. That's fact. <laughs> on the hole, number six, we got a par four. Dog leg to the left. Kind of straight away, honestly. We got water on the left. This is kind of what we're looking at, guys. I got driver. Mike has got my two iron. It's good. That's hit very far. All right, guys, Garrett with driver. All these holes out here just look so good. There's just so, the architecture is just awesome, Garrett. Oh, wow. I don't think that's what he was trying to do, to be honest, because he said he was aiming at the water and he hit it dead center down the fairway. But hey, if you're gonna miss it wrong, you might as well miss it strong. Bro, I landed that in the middle of the fairway and it almost went in the water. My driver sucks. I'll just be straight up honest with you guys right now. It sucks. It's so bad. In order for me to get confidence, I gotta step up on holes that are hard to hit fairways and hit the fairway. Yes. Two iron. Driver. Yeah, you outdrove me. I hit mine terrible, okay? You hit that the best I've ever seen you hit it. This is what we're looking at, guys. Into the green. That's my ball over there. Garrett's gonna be hitting first. We have inside of 123 yards. I would say we have about 113. I wanna go fishing in that pond. I saw a bunch of big fish in there. I got 52. This is gonna be a flighted 52 degree for Garrett Clark. Get up. Really good shot. That's inside 15 feet for sure. Minor setback, major comeback. That's all I'm gonna keep saying to myself. That one felt pretty good. Shank is in play for Mikey here. I mean, at least the water isn't in play. I had a comeback in the last match. I was one down going in the last two. I'm three down going in the last four. I've never done it before, but who says I can't win the last four holes? Whew, I'm still in this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Folks, folks, I'm still in this match. I'm not out of it yet. Improbable, yes. Impossible, no. You can get this up and down for par. What's the game plan here? What club you got? 60. All right, so this is where my ball ended up. Like Micah said, I have about probably 15, 17 feet for my birdie. I got putter in hand. We got Micah to get up and down. Where's par? As you heard him say, 60 degree in hand. Looks good. He's got that. Four's par, folks. Four's par. Eight feet from my par. Garrett has this for birdie and to win the hole. I'm gonna give him that for par. Now I gotta make that. Pretty good putt, just slid by. Guys, I'm rolling it very, very well. So I'm happy, but I'm also upset because the balls are just missing the holes. I need the balls to drop, you know. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, guys, I need that. I need that for sure. You never want to win on a bogey, but right now I need a miracle. Let's go. Last three holes, baby. All right, hole seven. Three holes left. We got a par five. We got a par three, and we got a par four. This is what we're looking at. Par five. Micah and Matt hit it over there and didn't find their balls yesterday. We're not going to talk about it. I just need to hit the fairway, folks. Got the driver in. And hand. Got the big D stick. Kind of aim up the left side and just rip it. Oh. That actually I think is gonna be okay. Like right over that bunker, it literally goes like it's like an angle like that. Like it's like a 40 degree angle. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you guys saw that swing, but my driver is so shaky that you can just see. As you can tell, it's very just like I just wanted to get one in play there. And I'm okay with that, you know? Here we go, we got two iron from Tig. Big rig Tig. He's also just trying to get this one in play. That is fine. Up the left center of the fairway. 
it's gonna go far. He won't be in the fairway, but he's in play, just like I kind of said. We can't be too mad with it. I don't think either of us are hitting the ball with our fullest potential today. Kind of just comes down to the last few shots here, and hopefully I can hit something really good. Here I'm at, what did I just say, Bradley? I don't know, you translate for me. It's weird, the depth perception out here, like Garrett probably has 250 at least here. This is what he's looking at. I'm probably just over that hill. 278 from here. It looks like it's 200. He's just gonna hit a hard four iron, see if he can roll one up there. Yeah. I just felt weird. I don't know. That side hill lie forced the hook. I got quick. Everything about me standing over that ball felt weird. He's got about 270, 265 maybe. Eight iron. Love Let's it. see if I can get myself about 100 yards in. Good. Yep. I probably should have done the same thing, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. We got Micah here in the middle of the fairway. He's got 87 yards with his 60 degree. This pin location's weird, so once again, anything can happen. Murphy's Law, whatever can happen, will happen. So basically what you're saying is this can go in the hole, so that will go in the hole. That's really good. Nope, that's... Needed to go. Oh my goodness, I thought that was gonna be two feet. I, I'm glad it's short, honestly, because I have somewhat of a chance. But I gotta get laser focused, guys. Basically, there's no rakes out here, so people aren't raking their footsteps. For, in all fairness, like, you should be able, if it's in a footprint, like it kind of was, you should be able to smooth it out. We were playing a challenge, and Micah did that earlier, and we were, like, totally okay with it. So, I think that's what, how it should be, because with the virus, there's nobody raking, obviously. This is a tough shot, yeah. but I'm gonna try and pick a pitching wedge, land it just on the green, and zip it to the right. That's tough. It's tough, guys. Oh, that was... It just didn't have enough time to sit down on the green to, to spin. Ah, gotta get that up and down to have any chance, guys. Rick. Man, mine was close to being good. Needed another six or seven feet, and it probably would have spun back to the pin, but nonetheless, I got like 20 feet. And Garrett is right back here trying to get up and down four par. He's got a 60 degree. He does have green to work with, so it's a pretty easy shot. I would expect this one to be pretty close. That kind of got a kick forward. That's going to hit my ball. Mm, just a little bit short. Oh, uh, that's a tough way to probably lose. I'm not a guy who makes excuses because I just hit a bad chip shot. But one of the things about here in Texas that I'm really learning is if you land it on the green, it's super soft. And if you land like here, it's super hard and it bounces forward. So that's exactly what happened on my chip shot. I hit it and I knew it right when I hit it too. I was like, I didn't carry that to the green. And obviously my goal was to get it to the green. Unfortunately, I did not. Mike has a two putt to win and seal the deal for match number 19. Oh my gosh. Hey, at least I lost on a birdie. Couldn't really do much about that. That was a good putt, folks. He could have three putted that for sure because that was... That was a freaking race car putt. Anyway, that is it for match number 19. And that puts the point system at 13 to six. Obviously I'm seven points down and it is unfortunate to lose like that. He made a freaking birdie, so that's tough to beat, guys. We're both working hard today. We're kind of playing like a new style of golf course as far as the layout, which again, thank you. Huge shout out and thank you to Briggs Ranch uh, Golf Club for having us out here. And it's just gonna be awesome, a lot of content. I'm sure you're gonna see more than one match. And the goal is for us to film four matches while we're here, so I think you guys will definitely see a lot of golf out here at this course but anyway that's about it for the match i know neither of us on it like honestly I, I keep saying i played really bad but I, neither of us played that good it was just kind of a like micah said we were trying to play as good as we could with what we had so so hopefully next match we get a little more dialed in on this course and you guys see some better golf hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did be sure to stay tuned for the next one the next sunday match lots of content coming from this course we just hit freaking 200,000 subscribers so huge shout out to you guys for doing all that. And I appreciate that. So anyway, peace out guys.